I volunteered with, with Sword Society Towns because I really wanted to be very much integrated with the community and I thought it would be very helpful to the area and to all the people in the area, both in terms of enhancing the environment, but also to get children involved and try and make sure that when, when we were clean in the area like that, from a very young age, it fostered an interest in the area and make sure that we got that support. Um, he's always there with a bit of crack and a joke and to make it more interesting when you're going around picking litter and taking cans out of the river and you know really awful things that you don't get no thanks for there's Matt making a laugh and a joke so he's great fun um, some of the projects we've been involved with in Swords is doing a re renovation of the Garda station which is an old building uh, they had one of the original uh, signs on it Garda Chicana signs which Matt lovingly took down and painted all perfectly and again he's got wonderful art skills which he always brings to the table at Soros Tidy Towns and also we, at the, this year we're involved in fundraising for a polytunnel which we've just erected and we want where we are now uh, and he's been instrumental in some of the meetings uh, putting that together. So some some of the projects we've been involved with would be one of the big projects would be actually cleaning out the river you know the Ward River um, and we do that once a year you now it's a very big enterprise is involving quite a lot of people. It's not just our society towns, but um, again, we try and get everybody involved as possible. And then also what we would do is we we do a clean up every week, you know, and in some cases it'd be twice a week. And the idea would be that also to um, remove graffiti. So it's just both clean up and it's also involved in making sure that the area looks very presentable. Uh, as regards to the difference like Sword Side of Towns makes to the area and to the people involved, like it's it's the whole idea would be to make sure that we, we wouldn't have any, it doesn't matter where you came from, it's intercultural and to try and promote an interest in various groups and uh, no matter from a young age to whatever age, the whole idea would be to make sure that everybody in the area is, is part and parcel of Sword Side of Towns. Matt is the type of guy who nothing is a big problem, nothing is too much. He's an inspiration to all of those who, who know him. They are aware of the problems that Matt is going through in his personal life, but they're also astounded at how Matt copes with those problems. I've been involved with Matt for 10 years, as I say, with Source Tidy Towns. Uh, Matt has been how can I put it, a friend to all of our members. We have quite a diversity of members uh, nationally wise. We have six to eight different nationalities and Matt has gone out of his way to make them feel welcome, to make them feel at home, uh, having a joke, having a laugh. So for those reasons I have nominated Matt for this award. Um, as well as you know being involved with Sword Society Towns, I'm involved in the Irish Lung Fibrosis Association and they have been an absolutely brilliant help to me. So so much so that in, in return for their help and support that I wanted to give something back to them. So if, between that and supporting Sword Society Towns, um, what it does for me is it's just a, a fantastic person uplift. Like ever since becoming quite sick, um, this is a, it's a, in one respect, it's a way by which to focus your attention on other things other than the illness. But it would be also very true to say that it would make a huge difference to me psychologically. As far as I'm concerned, it's not just that, but it's also for the people. I love helping people and I feel that as a result of what I've been doing for the last, God knows how many years, that it, it, uh, people will see the benefits, the fruits of your labour, and um, that to me is a wonderful thing to be able to do.